Hello once again everyone to Medieval Engineers. Um, we are not working on Bridgehaven today as it's basically unstable at this point. So Bridgehaven is kind of going to go on a temporary hiatus until some more updates come out that actually kind of fix the optimization in some way to continue a large build such as that. Um, I'm sorry there's not much I can do about it. If, if it's going to be laggy and crash on me, then really, you know, I, I don't want to spend hours upon hours trying to build one structure between crashing and FPS issues. So, sadly, that is kind of on the back burner for a little while. And so, thinking upon what I could build for you guys here lately, I might take some suggestions on what you guys might want to see me make, but I'm going to start off kind of doing something a little bit more classic I'm going to make hopefully the Temple of Time from uh, Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time so we'll see if it's doable in Medieval Engineers I have no idea and of course you guys can always suggest things that you want to see from any video game or any anything of the sort and I can see if it is doable so since the kind of update came out as well from last week, they changed the way building kind of behaves, and I'm not a fan. Um, that's about as docile as I can probably put it. It's, it's, I don't know. Like, it feels pretty much the same as always. It's just, like, they, they removed blocks, essentially. Uh, from our rope guitar. So, for example, I can't do a... Like, I can't combine these blocks anymore in the same grid. Like, I can like that, but I can't put these sides in there or rotate the other angle in to make a peaked kind of arch, which is... Um, well, it's depressing. It's, it, those peaked arches were, were kind of useful because, one... Dude, just using the wall arch is repetitive. I mean, if, if you did everything like this, it, it would be boring. And especially with the walls, when you're doing, like, stone facades, you want you want variation and everything. And that just removes that third variation. Now I just have these two things to use. Which, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not quite happy with it. That's about all I can say. But, oh well. We'll just try our best, I suppose, and truck along here as I try and figure out the best way to start this thing. Um, I haven't played Ocarina of Time, shoot, um, when I'm, it was like years ago I was helping my grandfather play it um, because my grandfather when he was still alive, um, he's the one that passed away this year. He was playing video games with me when I was younger. Uh, how big the entryway? I, I, I'm not really looking at anything besides maybe a screenshot of the front. So this this takes a little bit to probably get the scale um, somewhat right. I'm thinking something like this. Then I can bring up a one of these. Okay, that doesn't look too bad. And now I need the doorway, which does it start at right at the top of the stairs? I think it does. It's one of those taller ones, if I remember correctly. I'm thinking about that tall. At least a medieval engineer scale. Of course, if, if, if you get the scale wrong when you're building these type of things, it's very obvious. And so I'm trying my best to kind of stick with something reasonable. I can't even... I can't combine those blocks? Guys, this is... This is not what I want out of my game. I can't even throw... 
take a wall in here. Oh, no. It's, it's not letting me. Okay, that, that's fine. I guess I was gonna try and, you know, beef this thing up by doing this. Just to make it look a little beefier, but. Um, wow, that's not good. See, this, this kind of thing bugs me. This is why I like their system of combining voxels and voxels. That's, uh, that's, that's really limiting. It's kind of like playing Space Engineers. And this is, this is, it's one of my pet peeves with Space Engineers. The whole, a light can take up a whole freaking block. Um, this was supposed to be different. Tell you what, maybe... I guess I just have to kind of stick with it like that to make the towers. Yeah, I guess so. That's, that's pretty much all I can think of. So, at this point, there's us there's some sort of decoration here that goes up. Uh, I don't really know what it is, but I'm putting it in there. Now, the, the thing with the Temple of Time in Legend of Zelda is... Well, it's not very accurate. Um, I'll put it that way. It's not probably the most accurate building I've ever seen, at least church-wise. You know, it, it's missing a lot of components. So, it's going to maybe look a little weird. And we may have to kind of embellish and wing parts of it just so it fits and makes sense. I think what I need is to actually... That has weird embellishing details. Um, the way things are layered. Like it has this section that's kind of sticking up and out. Can, oh my, I can't even put a pillar right there. No, 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 no. That's so bad. Why are they doing this? Okay. Um, go to plan B, I guess, and try and get one of these to fit. Oh, this is... This is ruining my medieval engineers. There we go, that's, that's something. It looks all right, not really what I wanted, um, but it works and that's progress. Like the, the reasoning behind the whole block thing um, was to try and make it more intuitive, but holding alt just, it's, it's a button press. I, I don't, I don't understand. Sorry if I'm being ranty in this video, but you know, this this is, you know, the game I'm, I play the most, really, for you guys. Um, I play so much Medieval Engineers, trying to make some cool stuff with even the limited block amounts that we have, and now it just feels even, even more limiting. So there's a wall here, and I'm gonna be using wood because I, I need to keep these layers going through. And it even has those, like some sort of embellishment. So to do that, I'm gonna use these timber round pieces. to Kind of just bring more depth, more color up in here. This may end up being a multi-part video. Okay, and let's, let's just, okay, that doesn't really work. It's, no. Can, can 
And a copy, thank you. Alright, so that's good. And I hear a barbarian running around, I think. Puts me in a little bit of an awkward spot. Oh, yeah. There is one out here. That's weird. Running backwards. Another feature that uh, they, in my opinion, shouldn't be spending time on yet, but that's okay. I'm not. I'm not making the game. I can't. Can't say anything. It's not my place. Tell you what. I'm gonna lower this window down. Okay. Tell you what. If I can't even do this, then I'm gonna have an issue. If I can't even put a pillar laying flat. I can't. I can't use this to make a window. Why did they do this? I hope Keen watches my videos. I really do, because I I want to I want them to understand how unhappy I am with this. And I'm not unhappy like out of anger per se. I'm just it's just disappointing. Because this is a game that I've been waiting for pretty much forever, it feels. And it feels like it's just not going in the direction I want it to. Which is fine. It's not my game. I can't, can't say for certain. Okay, so that's kind of the first tier. Now let's... Vision and okay. Now we need uh, something, something here to make it look a little bit more unique as we transition up even higher. It's basically a giant order kind of structure here. Now these ones are actually windows. Which means I need to put this on here. There's a window, and it's pretty much the same thing over here. Though, back one, I think. I think this episode will we'll, we'll just try and get the front room done. You know, where, where you turn in your beginning keys to open up the door from like the water dungeon, the forest dungeon, and the fire dungeon. Now these aren't temples. I'm not getting those confused if you guys are wondering. That would be really bad if I did. But this is, you know, when you're still Kid Link. Okay. Goes up like that, and then at this point, we have the first kind of roof area. And sadly, right here, there's supposed to be a uh, rosary window. We don't have blocks to make a rosary window. So sadly, it is just going to have to be barren. Oh, another barbarian off in the distance. Just gotta take him out with some boulders. There we go. Ooh, good hit. Now again, this building won't look very detailed because the original wasn't very detailed. So keep that in mind as we get taller and the walls just look more plain and more plain. Okay, 
let's let's actually raise up our little bell towers here. mood. It's Monday. Go watch the stream, guys. That's what you should be doing. Hashtag ruined. Okay, so that goes up to about there. And it's going to do its kind of thing with its own roof. Now the next set of windows. Go there. Then here. Right there. It's not looking too bad. I am okay with it. Now the problem with the Temple of Time is the fact they don't show you the sides in the game. In fact, I don't think they ever show you the sides. Um thinking here maybe maybe from the view of the from the town I would have to take a look but I'm just gonna kind of follow a normal small cathedral format here so we'll have kind of a first story and then the center part will be a clear story but this is this is gonna be slightly um, smaller on this side here. And of course, I'll try and dig out uh, the area to, you know, the front steps in as you come in and maybe work on some platforms. The platforms, of course, will have to be wooden as we don't have the luck types to do anything like that as well. No, like, half slab. I'm already at, like, what, 17 and a half minutes or so? Of me rambling? That ain't bad. Ain't bad at all. Just need something like that. That'll give us the full height of the front. In which case, we can put the roof on, I guess. Um, it had brown roofing. Sure, it may not be the most grand in the world, but it did its job. I'll tell you what, this, this main peak we can keep pointed. And then little bell towers. Oh, I have to use this. Can I not combine these blocks? Can't combine the. Okay, that's fine. There we go. Look, we're changing color now because we have to. Let's see, that's not tall enough, I feel. That's the problem. I kind of wish there was a two by one roof. I mean, this would be tall enough, but we have a square tower. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and try and finish up the facade for this episode. And then you guys can tell me what you think. Um, maybe even let me know if you want me to just finish this and then give you a tour or, or do things like that for a while. So, you know, shorter videos, but just straight to the meat of things. And I'll be back. Oh, by the way, I can't even uh, put the roof on the little triangles. It's not letting me. Uh, no matter what I do. So, that is another really not a good sign. Just that. Alright, so here we are. This is, I guess, the front facade of the Temple of Time from Zelda. Um, obviously, some, there's going to be some differences. And, of course, with the new block changes, I can't quite do everything I wanted to do. For example... I can't put a roof on the sloped 
block anymore, so I'm having to replace it with the wooden uh, kind of roof supports. Makes no sense to me, but hey, um, it could just be a bug, and I'm sure they'll fix that at some point. Uh, we have some some actual window decorations going on inside there. I figured out that if I just manually build my two by uh, one sloped roof, it doesn't look too too bad. It looks fairly fairly correct. It's kind of the right pitch that things need to go to. So that that turned out fine. Made a little bit of a doorway here, and then up at the top, of course, a little bit. Uh, something to represent, I guess, the Triforce. Not much room to work with there. So, I think that's about it for this episode. So, uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, feel free to subscribe if you're new. Go ahead and hit that like button. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of the new building model. Um, because I'm curious if anyone else is playing right now, what they think. Because right now, it's, uh, it's not what I want. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Have a good one.